Alright, hi there YouTube, it's me, Morse in America. This video is going to be unedited and it's going to max out at 30 minutes. This is me just toying around with my storage and me doing a bunch of affixes. If you're not familiar with affixing in general, I advise you to watch the playlist in the upper right corner or in the description. Also, note this is going to be some advanced stuff, slightly, in a sense. It's going to go into fodder making. Now, I am going to make a playlist and a bunch of separate videos for it, but for now, I advise you to watch the affixing playlist if you're not familiar with this and understand why I'm doing it. Also note that this is July 1st to July f from in the Japanese field salute to from July 1st to July 15th of the year 2020. There's a boost week going along, uh, going on along with the grind campaign zero, which is pretty much you don't need to spend Masetta when it comes to doing these services of Ryan Corner or in the description. I already made a video talking about it. So yeah, I have a bunch of stuff in my storage. I need to get rid of it. Like, I have a lot in the character storage, but I also got a lot in this storage as well. I need to empty this out before the next In the Drive and Rain 2020 emergency quest pops up because they do drop a lot of stuff, especially they, uh, especially Grade 3 abilities, and then also a Catalyst. A Catalyst will drop from this quest, and you can use this to your advantage to make Astro Soul for yourself, or you can sell it on the market, or you can just sell this Soul Catalyst later. I would not, even though it's a boost week, I would say hold on to the Soul Catalyst, because because it's a drop in itself, it wouldn't have as much value when, you know, there's not a lot of Soul Catalyst dropping in, when it's going to be high in demand later. Right now, I'm taking advantage of this boost week. I sold a lot of units, what, yesterday? Yeah, yesterday on the 3rd. And most of these earnings are from units. It's roughly around 105,724,801. So I'm a bit curious about a particular ability, so I'm going to look this up and see if it has any worth. Now, I don't know if this is going to sell. This is going to be a gamble on my, on my part. But I want to see if I can sell a, a grade 5 ability. I highly doubt it because when it comes to grade 5 abilities, you would want to... I guess, yeah, you would want to combine it, but the the problem is it's a grade 5 ability. You're going to need another grade 5 to try to transfer it. What you would want to try to do, though, is get grade 4 abilities and then push it to a grade 5. It's a bit cheap compared to that grade 5. At the same time, it makes sense because if you are... Once again, trying to get other abilities and try to finalize a grade 5 on there, then yes, you would want to have a grade 4 first before going to a grade 5. I have some grade 5 materials here, and I'm just debating about what sort of method I should use. I might try to push this to a 6 slot instead. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about it. I don't know what to do with it. I have a bunch of stuff in my inventory though, so I need to get rid of it before once again the uh, emergency quest pops up. The, once again, no time skips, no edit footage on this. This is just me doing doing a bunch of fixes on this account. And yeah, I have a bunch of unit pieces here because once again, I'm a unit fixer. I use this to my advantage in terms of making my own fodder piece or just selling it on the market to get a profit, especially during a boost week. Mm. Now, what I could do is also push some of these 6 slots to a 7 slot. However, it's going to be a bit risky because the percentage isn't going to be in my favor, especially when it comes to up upslotting. I already made a video talking about upslotting, but if you want to see a live demonstration and the frustration behind it, up in my right hand corner or in the description. So, uh, yeah. This has a power... Three and a technique. Let me organize this by number of abilities so I know what I'm toying around with. I have a power and technique here. I think I just made a subcard with the power and technique, didn't I? There's a power, there's another power, but that's with a shoot. This is a shoot and a stamina. These are grade 5 abilities. I might just need to sell it as it is. I need to put that back in storage. And then just shoot 3 here. Power 3 by itself here. Alright, so let's just put this away. Let's see what I have in terms of 
fodder pieces. Get to go over here, organize it by number of abilities, and stir at this. Now, I don't want to do anything with this one because it actually has a crack, and I think I could sell that for. I can ignore that X till so I don't care about that. The crack, even though it's just a crack one, is selling for 892. Which is good. For just one of its abilities. Uh, power 3, stamina 3, spirita. This has a shoes, spirita. This has a power, spirita, and technique, and that. So what I can do... Is try to focus on the power and spirita, spirita on this stuff. Yeah, I can use this thing right here. I don't need to hold on to it personally because I'm not trying to aim for a 6 slot. I already got most of my final fixes. It's just I need ability transfer passes. So I'm going to take this, take this, take this, and then combine these to make a 6 slot. Now, I could try to push it to a 7 slot, but I, honestly, I'm not going to do that. And then this unit piece should have... It might only sell for a million, but hey, look, I didn't even spend as much to make this thing. I might as well sell it as it is. This thing has a lot. Let's see what it is by itself. Yeah, it's worth the mill. I knew I knew it was just gonna be a mill, but at the same time, hey, look, if it's just a mill, at the very least, I could try to get something out of it. I'm gonna put this unit piece for maybe like one million five hundred thousand. I could try to push it for two mil, like the piece that you saw on the screen. However, I'm not going to do that just because that unit piece that's at 2 mil has a lot of, of other grade 4 abilities which you would want to tour around with. I'm just going to put it at this price here. And roughly me just doing this sort of thing will be equal to like a character's weekly. So if I can make multiple copies of these and place them on the market... You know, that's easy money right there. If it can sell. That, that's the thing. If it can sell. A lot of people are going for harder abilities like Mana Rev. Or trying to get a bunch of catalysts to make certain things like Astro Cell, Ethifactor, and or Mana Rev. If, if you don't know the formula for that, up in right corner or in the description. That would have a lot more value compared to what I'm doing. This is just cheap stuff because I got it off of the field. And... It's not going to be a secret. Everyone else is doing something with these abilities as well. I have competition. And that means I need to, you know, make it cheap. I need to make it cheap and then just sell it as it is. I don't want to waste too much resources on it. Like, hey, look, if it doesn't fail, it's not going to hurt me because this wasn't my piece in the beginning. This this was something I found off of the field. Now let me organize this by the number of abilities again. Yeah, so when you do this sort of thing, it's not just like you doing a bunch of fixes. You also got to consider how you get to sell your things, if it's going to sell in the first place. A lot of factors, which goes into how to make money in PSO2, but I will make that in due time. So I got another Power 3, Technique 3. I got another unit piece that has a bunch of abilities on it. Wait, what is this one? This this one I need to try to dumb down, but at the same time I'm trying to figure out how to dumb it down. I might need to open up one of these premium storage so I can put all these sub cards into that stupid storage. Don't know why I'm holding on to these. I could technically trade these in for photon spheres. Let's see if I got a stamina 3 in my inventory. If not, then I might need a gamble. Gonna use that. Let's see. Gonna use this empty subcard. Or just use the subcard and see. Let's select the vote just in case. Stamina 3, stamina 3, stamina 3, stamina 3, stamina 3. No, I do not have another copy for it. So I'm gonna do this. Use a 30, gamble with that. Alright, it succeeded, so now what do I do with this thing? Mm, 
this has to shoot its stamina, this has the stamina and the power and its shoot. Power and shoot. So I can use these and then get the one that has a power by itself. And then I can try to upslot most of the grade 3 abilities along with all the other crud that I am able to select. Use a 30% gamble, 90 across the board, now it's a 6 slot, then now I can do something with this. Um, what was the 3 abilities? Power, shoot, stamina, 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 power, shoot, stamina. Nothing. Actually, it has a reverie, which is why I'm holding on to it. Power, shoot. Alright, I'm using you. And then, power, shoot again. Now I need to worry about the power, shoot, stamina part. Or I just need to worry about the stamina. But I might want to ignore it due to how I don't have a unit piece that only has stamina. I have a I have stamina three, I can see it. It's just that it's not by itself. I could make a stamina three by itself, but I need to upslot it from like a four slot to a five slot, then five slot to a six slot. This is a power three technique, power three stamina is that the I'm holding on to that. Why am I holding on to that? Alright, so let's see. Let me type in the name and ability up here. This is saving me so much hassle when it comes to trying to figure out what I have and what I don't have. Um, yeah, I don't have a stamina 3 by itself, so I can't really gamble with the stamina 3 to get it to a 3 slot. I mean, a grade 4 ability. Where is that 6 slot unit? Here we go. I'm going to just use these two. Grade three, grade four, grade four. I could gamble this with a ninety-five, but I'm not gonna do that. Now this is a grade six. I could sell that, but right now I don't have any free space for that, so I'm gonna put that over there. And let's go back to touring around with this thing and try to empty out my goddamn. Uh, I'm gonna have to put this back in storage too, because even though it's just like a two-slot Doom Break, if I get more Doom Breaks somehow in some way, I can upslot it when I need to. So I got some Power Fours there. I got a Power Three there. So what I can do is grab these things here. I would want to emphasize on that power, but at the same time, I don't want to because I don't have anything that can boost it up even further other than the ability success boost. Then what I'm going to do with this technique, do I have any other techniques? I don't think so. So... I have one unit fodder piece. I don't want to just use one unit fodder piece. I need a junk unit piece so I can try to get that passive boost. Corso will help out. No. Boozer. No. Quartz. Spirited. Oh, there's a couple doom. What the fuck? Where 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 were you guys? What the fuck? I don't remember this doom breaks. Hmm. Loser so. That should boost technique stuff if I remember my abilities however this might interest me a lot more this technique 3 by itself with a mind 3 I can toy around with that if I can find a bunch of other junk abilities I have two crack abilities hmm. This is in storage one. Let's see if I got anything over here. I just need something that is a junk ability. Alright, let's go with this loser ability, because I don't see anything else I can use. That has a spirit of... I'm going to need to find some junk three abilities or something I can use for that one. Alright, let's gamble. 
what was it? Was that a three slot? Mm, yes, most likely. I think it was at a three slot. Yeah, because there's a technique right there. And then I said... Which unit piece? Are you the unit piece I wanted to use? I don't remember. I only see two of these. I'm going to use this one because it's just sitting there. Going to use a 30% push it. Get it to a technique three. With this technique three, I can do that. And then use this and then push it to a 5 slot get rid of that, do this, do this, do this, do this it fell so now this becomes a piece of junk which then I can use it for something else uh, question is what can I do now oh yeah that's empty I need to stock up on those again This is a three slot. I have a bunch of these receptor things. I don't really care about the flints anymore. They're not that useful. So I'm gonna use that then. This has a power three. Snow, lesser. I can use these, but I might trade them in just so I can get full sound spheres. There's another Technique 3. 12 star. Mutation 2, useless to me. I love how I'm clearing out the other storage, but not this main one. This main one is going to give me a slight headache. That has a crack. I, I, the crack 1 will have a lot more value over the crack 2. Let's see. Yeah, crack 1 costs that much. Crack 3, it doesn't mean, I mean, Technique 3 with at a 3 slot doesn't mean jack shit. So I could sell the crack abilities by, as themselves. I am debating about it because I do want to use them for my own usage. What the hell did I just grab? I grabbed one of the uh, sub cards. Yeah, I'm going to have to open up one of my premium storage just so I can shove a bunch of sub, uh, sub cards in there again. Um, Alright, I was going to toy around with a bunch of 3 slots. So yeah, let's use this as a fodder piece. Let's use this. Let's get a spirit of foresight. If it does not work, then I can just use it as a junk unit piece. All right, so that succeeds. Next one, technique three with body three. You can use that as a junk. Use this technique three, push it so I can get into a foresight. Then. What else do I have to turn around with? A power three. Now I don't have a dupe of a power three. What I'm gonna do is just use this. Actually, I should put that on a sub card instead. Do 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 do. Power three by itself with this thing over here. Snow power or snow soul. Do this. Get a thirty. Now it's a power four. Power three out of four slot. Uh, have a power three right here, so I can combine those two. Gamble with the power three, upslot this thing. Do something like this. Now it's a five slot. This is also a four slot. I could try to push it to a five slot if I have something. A four slot to push it. I think I have a junk one down here. This has a power three. Power three. I mean power two. Power 2 is kind of useless to me. Unless I have mutation 1 to actually do it. Now this is a 5 slot as well. And then technique 3 with a 4 slot. I need a bunch of 4 slots for this to work. I think I got rid of most of the high fodder pieces here. Oh wait, no, I know what's eating up this storage. It's the stupid Emperor Embrace that I have stocked up over here. Is it? Nope. Oh, I guess it's something else. I think it's the investment items I have over here. Yeah, eggs. Eggs will also do it too. Yeah, that's the number of eggs. I need to go to my summoner and actually get her to get rid of these stupid eggs. or put it in her character storage. I think her character storage is full. 
So yeah, I need to talk about that and fix that. Does it give me the expiration data when this storage expires? Got some of that stuff. Oh yeah, also the keys. I need to make a video for this as well. Because this is stupid. This is a lot of keys and I'll show you guys what I will do with these keys. Uh, but yeah, I think it's the keys and the eggs that are holding me up with this storage. This one in particular, I've been emptying out because... Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. This one I do not need, so I can use that to try to upslot. Do not need to try to upslot. Has lesser, can try to upslot. Has severe to three, I can try to upslot. Has a stamina. I'm surprised I have a bunch of crap in this one. Well, I guess I was trying to tour around with the lesser grays, but I just didn't want to at some particular point. I was like, screw these things. I hate these things. I have a bunch of grade four abilities these years. The hell? What the fuck was I doing? This is why hoarding can help you in a sense when it comes to doing some of this shit. I think I have enough, so I need to turn around with this and empty it out. I could also try to upslot some of the subcards that I have and get it to a 5 slot now as well. So that's the stamina 3. Since I have a bunch of lesser junk stuff, I can just try to gamble with just the uh, one copy of the spirit of 3 instead of having multiple dupes. So that's now at a, f what, 5 slot? Stamina 3. I don't need these two. So go over here, do this. Use the 30. Wait, wait. Never mind, it worked, but I did not realize I selected a grade 2 by accident. So what I want, this, and then everything else. This is, they don't have anything important, so I'm going to use this as a base. And then see if I can, alright, this has a technique, three, get a grade one, use a 30. That failed horribly, oh my god, that, that was something. That was painful to watch. Alright, so, since it's a 3 slot though, I can use this to my advantage. Up slot this 3 slot sub card into a 4 slot. Yeah, I want to use 2, because this actually has a shoot 3 on it. Use a 30, push it. Now it's a 4 slot, use a bunch of... No, not, not that one. Don't care about these other grade 3s that aren't as interesting. They're more towards like a defense, a fix. It's still stuck out of what, foresight? Yeah. So I'm gonna have to, that has a technique, do not use that. Use these two, and it looks like I gotta have to go back to my storage to get more junk, a fix. And I also need to get a third, more 30%. Yeah, I have a lot of ability success boosts, and I'm gonna have to put that into premium because I don't want that there. Mm, what was it storage for? Storage four has most of the random four slots that I am not using. Oh, but um, yeah, I'm running low on them now because I've been burning them up. If you're wondering how you can get the less abilities, it's from endless quests over here in the uh, Japanese field so too. Fang so I can get rid of What's this is stamina three? Yeah I can use that to my advantage. Bunch of four sots here. This has an apprentice, so I wanna hold on to that. Quartzo, useful in its own right in a certain way. Don't care about that, so don't care about this, so and those abilities, keep that. And a night gear. Okay, that's all of my four slots that I would just toss away willy nilly. There's a couple five slot ones, but I may want to save this total, so. I might need to open up that storage just so I can shove the sub cards in there. Alright, let's gamble with this. Shoot three, push it to a five slot. What the hell? Oh, that's... 
this is a stupid piece of shit. That's a problem. Well, I was able to do it anyway, so not a huge deal with the other four slots. I think I got a five slot here that does not have anything at all. Alright, so question is, since I was making a lot of these, what can I do to combine them? Power 3, I see power 3. Stamina. That's a junk, but it's on a sub. Damn. I don't have any more f uh, junk 5 slot, do I? And I don't have a lot of 4 slot junk as well. Storage, extra storage 3 does not have anything because it only has the sub cards. This has a lot of reveries, and then more subcards. Hmm. Has a doom break in there. Crack. Power three, lovey doom. Why is this by itself? Hold up. Question is, do I have a bunch of doom breaks? Or at least three doom breaks? Huh, I could. This could be a huge gamble right here, but I'm gonna do it. Let's see if this would work. What I'm gonna do is just use two doom break one, upslot it to a five slot, if possible. If it fails, then oh well. But they can't do much anyways with it. So I'm gonna use this and this. Could try to transfer the stamina and the doom break. I mean the spirit up, but I'm not gonna do that. We could keep this simple just because I'm trying to focus more on the doom break itself. It was able to succeed, so now let's do a huge gamble and try to get this into a doom break too by using these. Five slot ones. I think I also had a spirit right there, so what I can also do. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Spirit, uh, spirit, uh, three. I got two minutes, so this might conclude the uh, video. If I can find something that has a five slot stamina. Or spirit, uh, excuse me. Do I need this loser still at a 5 slot? It's easy to get right now. I will most likely get one again later. Yeah, let's use that one just in case. So where's that sub card with the Doom Break? So here's a Doom Break with Spirita. I'm going to use this Spirita. And then I think I already made a Spirita. Yeah, this is Spirita right here. And then I'm going to need to find that last copy of a Doom Break. Combine this all. Make it into a Doom Break what two and gamble at the five slot use a 30 percent oh well it failed but hey look this this is gambling for you get this spare to three back to a five slot sometimes you win sometimes you lose hey this is gambling for you this is why you shouldn't get into it if you are bad at it or if, if, if you don't want to be influenced greatly by it get to do this one even though it's not a sub card I don't mind at all six slot with a fever uh, hmm. power three shoot three I have a bunch of four slots here. That's a. Uh, what is this? Yeah, I can do that. I 
Also, if you are playing on the Japanese FISA 2, this is a good way to get used to the gambling or used to the affixing and stuff. I'm going to have to end this video here because I just looked at the rec recording time. It's already at 30 minutes and 14 seconds. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of this, or I am going to make more of this, even if you don't tell me to make more of it, just because when it comes to this sort of process, it's like you got to know what you're doing and make it into a natural sort of thing when it comes to doing some of these affixes. If you want to get into this business, it's not for everyone. It can be tedious, annoying, especially when it comes to going to higher slots, especially when it comes to weapon upgrading and even unit upgrading at an extent. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.